This fresh off the truck is the 15 inch ZBook G7 Create Notebook PC, graciously loaned to me by HP. Now the original inspiration for requesting this particular machine was to find something built for creatives, but was also ultra portable. <sighs> My go-to being a 17 inch HP Omen, which <laughs> Good luck opening this on your seat back tray table in economy class. At least when, you know, travel was actually a thing. But let's open this sucker up and see what we got. Ooh, that is a nice box. Ooh, very nice. I like that. Package design is really nice. There's the Z book. That's actually. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. All right, so we got our Z-Book. We got our recovery software on a DVD-ROM, which begs the question, when was the last time I saw an optical drive on a laptop? Or a desktop, for that matter. I'm not really sure, but I don't know. Maybe put that on a, uh, on a stick or something next time. But you know, it is what it is. All right, we got our power adapter here. They got that woven cord on there. Gives it a nice, I don't know, more professional look maybe. So that's cool, I like that. I mean, right off the bat, this looks, this definitely looks like a high quality piece of machinery. Okay, okay. One finger lift, not bad. Might be a little bit stiff on the hinges, but so let's take a look at what is in this machine. We've got a 10th gen i7-10750H 6 core 2.6 gigahertz processor and up to five gigahertz with Intel's Turbo Boost technology, 16 gigs of 3200 DDR4, a 512 gig NVMe SSD, an RTX 2070 Max-Q with eight gigs of RAM, and a very respectable 83 watt hour battery. I mean, that's, that's pretty nice, but my thought is with the kind of power in this machine, you're probably gonna need that if you're doing anything serious with it while running on battery power. On the surface, we got a 15.6 inch full HD display with a nice thin bezel, I like that. 720p IR webcam. Uh, this is the standard backlit spill resistant keyboard configuration. Um, there is another configuration you can get, which is a replication, uh, basically, of a MacBook keyboard. So if you switch between Mac and Windows, that can be really handy to have. Something familiar that, you know, can help that transition going back and forth. We have Bang & Olufsen speakers in the sky. We're talking two tweeters and two woofers with a 150 hertz base roll-off. And on paper, that sounds really impressive. I'm expecting better than average performance on those, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We have this lovely large trackpad, very nice. We have a fingerprint reader. And if we look at the I.O., we have a USB-A port, which I love to see. Like, anytime I just see USB-C, I'm like, eh. It's a little early for that, but that's very nice to see. We have a combined headphone mic jack. Let's see on this side, we have a SD card reader, which frankly, anyone who does not put an SD card reader on something for creatives, I, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Like you need to include that. We have our mini display port. Personally, I like full size HDMI, but of course this is very versatile, so not a big issue there. We have two USB-C ports and a barrel connector for power. So this is a very impressive little machine. I'm excited to test it out. Um, if these specs aren't impressive enough for you, uh, you can get a configuration with a 4K HDR display, an i9 processor, and an RTX 2080S Max-Q. And there are a lot of other configurations for this model, so if you wanna check those out, the links will be in the description below. As for this configuration, I'm gonna be running a lot of tests. Um, being a video creator, I'm gonna run some tests in Premiere Pro. And heck, let's see how this thing handles some games, cause why not? But for now, I'm gonna run some tests on this guy and see how we go. See you next time.